Th th there's something also that people don't take in consideration sometimes. You've been prepared. Yeah. Uh, and the same, we're not going to go back about the preparation and how your dad was and how mine was, or how yeah. Arsene was with me early and, 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 and your mentor uh, with you early. But then at one point, it's like, okay, you're alone now. What are you going to do? You know, dad is not there anymore. And you have to give the, the, the athlete a lot of credit because you don't uh, uh, teach, you can't teach an athlete, an athlete sorry, uh, uh, when he's young. You can't teach him to fail. Right? You have to deal with that while, while, while you're failing. So the preparation is for that. Because he, ha he has that in him, I have that in me. But how are you going to cope with when, you're about to, when you will fail? And it's difficult to prepare that. You can't prepare a guy to be a killer and talk to him about failure or prepare him to fail. Yeah. So that, that's the thing sometimes is a bit tricky when you're young and you were kind of the guy. And then suddenly you arrive in some places where you're not the guy anymore and suddenly, well, hang on a minute, I wasn't used to that. Yeah. Oh, I failed. How do you respond to that? And that's, 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 you're going to have your people around. And he knows that. You're going to have your people around. You're going to have people phoning me, texting you. Hey, man. But at one point you are alone. How are you going to cope with that when you are alone? How are you going to cope with that when, you, when you're in your car alone and you have to pass someone in a difficult situation and, and, and you failed before and you have to do it again? Same with me, you know, people can talk or not, but at a certain moment in the game when, when you are alone, 80,000 people or whatever it is, you are alone. And, and it's not easy to, to cope and deal with failure. And it's, a, it's a thing, something that uh, uh, um, sometimes you have those guys trying to talk to you, uh, those motivators and stuff like that. But if you don't, if you don't or you didn't encounter failure, uh, especially when we fail, everybody knows about it. It's not like the, it's not like my, my neighbor knows it, yeah. or the guy or the butcher on the side of uh, uh, in the corner of the street. When he fails, everybody knows it. And when you go out the day after. And you see people in the street. I remember the first time I, I missed a penalty or I missed a goal and or we don't win a big game. And you're kind of paranoid because you, you're looking at people looking at you and you're like, are they talking about me? <laughs> are they talking about the goal I missed yesterday? Yeah. Surely yeah. they must be because I would have been killing that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, you're kind of like this. And that's the part I have to say that also comes in, although you've been prepared ever so well. Yeah. But to deal with the failure and how you react it's something that you have to develop yourself and, and obviously preparation does help for that, but... Everyone comes up with their own way of method of still, dealing with yeah. it, you know. Some are better than others. I know for me, I was really, uh, when I, in my younger early days in my career, I would struggle so much when I'd have that failure day. It would take me days to get past it. I was so, so stubborn and so, um, I would really go inside and stay kind of in the shell. I wouldn't let anyone talk to me. I was. Nowadays, I'm kind of, I'm over it, you know, next yeah. day. I know I can come back the next day and repeat it. Or if you, you know, get, and you know, my younger brother was always a real good uh, inspiration for me. Mm -hmm. my, my brother is disabled and seeing, you know, seven years younger than me, but he, he found it hard, he, you know, it's hard for him to walk. You know, fall over, we'd play in basketball or football, whatever it was, and it was easy for me. And he would fall over and he would get straight back up. He would never ever change his mentality. And I, I always kind of looked at that as, an, you know, as his older brother, and thinking that's that's something I can take into to into what I into, how do I translate that into what I do? You know, when I fall, get back up, never give up, and, and that's really something that that we all have to have. You know, sometimes when you lose you lose time or uh, they, they don't change the tires quickly enough mm. or, or whatever, and you know you're in your car and you're like. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know what it's like. It's like, um, and it would probably be the same for them. They're probably like, we spent the whole weekend preparing the car. We've done everything to time. The pit stops were the best. Yet the driver lost this amount of time on the track. And when you're driving, you're like, I just did. I drove my heart out. I just gained those half a second, you know, and those tenths of a second here and there. And you get to the pit stop and you lose it. And you're like, oh my god. But you have to keep moving forward. You yeah, can't. Yeah, yeah. You can't let that hold you back. So you're like, you know what? I've got to catch that second or whatever it is so you what's, lost. So what's the talk after? Like, do you guys, uh, do we get, no, not you, but the guys, the guys working on the car, do they get fined? Do they get no. in trouble? No, not at all. No? That's not a way, is it? I guess. No, I no, know, no, I want to say that, when I said, not in a bad way, but you know, sure. for example, if you, if you don't do what, what you need to do in the game, sometimes the boss will let you know, and sometimes sometime sure. it will be nice with it, and sometimes 
Well, you, what you they'll don't do, want to be in that I dressing think, room. I think what they, yeah. Well, I mean, it's very rare that my guys step yeah. up through I'm not being prepared. It's usually something's happened or, you know, maybe I've gone long or the gun, like, for example, the other day I lost, like, three seconds and stopped because the gun, the, the bolt uh, cross-threaded. So they had to change the gun, oh. change the bolt, which took forever. But, you know, he did it really fast. He was really Still, quick he did on that the point. Well. He yeah. did it really well, yeah. which people won't see it on TV. They probably just think we lost a lot of time. So, um, no, but naturally it's about lifting those guys up. You know, when I go, when I see them, I'm like, hey, don't worry about it, man. There's, you know, how many stops they've, they've practiced, 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 but when, on, when you're in front of God knows how many people that are watching, when the pressure's oh, on, know. it's so easy to, 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 to just to drop it for a split second or you know, something else comes in the way. But in actual fact, he did such an amazing job to quickly, just quickly change. Exactly. I could have lost way much, a lot more time. He did well. Or he could have let me go and I could have been down the pit lane with one with three wheels, you know? People were like, did you watch the game yesterday? And I was like, I don't need to watch the game. You know what, what do you mean? So I remember everything I lived that it. I've done in so I... oh. He's done already. Oh. An incident off the ball here, I have to say.